And now we're ready to test our battery for its voltage level to see if it's dud or if it's actually a good battery. But you can't just stick these on your battery any uh, way you want. What you gotta look for is a negative and positive terminal. And this is labeled quite appropriately by a negative right there and a positive. It's gonna be labeled somewhere on your battery. So go ahead and what you wanna do is hook the black one, your black probe, up to negative and just touch it on its tip anywhere and take your red probe right here and touch it on the tip that says positive so again black is negative red is positive so remember that and touch it on your tip now I'm going to show you guys right now what my uh, digital uh, reader is showing right now and I will switch it to you right then now as you can see Whenever I touch those probes and they're connecting right now, my multimeter shows somewhere between 9.52 volts. That little V, if you can see right down here, that means volts. So this is kind of typical that uh, they give you more volts than expected. And remember, that's not a bad thing. We can always limit it. It's when you get below like um, 6 or 5 volts, this is when you usually need to replace your battery. So anywhere around um, 8 or 9 or even a little higher, that's what you're looking for. And if you see this reading, it means that you have a good battery and we are ready to go. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And uh, don't forget to check out my next tutorial. Thanks. Alright guys, now that you know how to use your multimeter to test your battery, I want to sum up uh, everything and point out a couple things that you guys are going to need to know when buying 9 volt batteries. There are a couple different kinds of 9 volt batteries you can buy. You can buy something called nickel metal hydride and this is a rechargeable battery. These are uh, kind of expensive but they're rechargeable so uh, you got to kind of weigh your options there. I always use basic alkaline batteries and this is your basic uh, store brand or Duracell or Energizer <coughs> and uh, what you don't want to get is the um, special batteries that say lithium or titanium and ultra or anything like that these are kind of just marketing gimmicks and they do have a little little better performance but for the cost it's not worth it at all so just go with your basic alkaline batteries this, are, this is going to give you the best bang for the buck and it's more than powerful enough to do anything we're going to be building for now. And now that you learned everything, now that you hopefully went and purchased a 9 volt alkaline battery to power your robot, we're ready to move on to the next component. And we now have power for our robot and our circuit. So make sure to check out the next tutorial and I'll see you then.